Hi, early years. So welcome to our second phonics lesson this week. And this one's a fun one. So you're going to really enjoy this one. Let me open it up. Bear with me a moment. Okay. So once again, we're going to have a go at our tricky words. See if you can do these any quicker. You might remember where they were. I am going to show them. See if you can shout them at me. Ready? He. Let's do this one now. We, well done. B, this one. She, fantastic, excellent, well done. So we're going to start with our phonics now. Hold on one moment. We're going to start with our phonics lesson and we're going to do revisit and review. So we're going to have a look at the balloons, pop the balloons, say the sound and do the action. Let's start with this one. Mmm, mmm, well done, fantastic. Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, fabulous. No, this is an old one. Yeah, well done. B. Well done. B. And remember with the B, it is a robot letter, so it has that straight, it's got the bat and then the ball. Okay. I. Brilliant. Well done for getting all of those right. So what is our sound of today? Well, let's introduce you to our new sound. Are you ready? So this is our sound and the sound is R. R. Okay, let's all have a go at that. We open our mouth wide and the air comes out. Ah, open it wide and it comes out. Ah, ah, well done, fantastic. And the song for that, in fact, the action for that is that because the song goes, open wide, the doctor said, ah, ah. Oh, I can't think of the song. Let me look. Oh, I've forgotten the song. Can you remember the song? Open wide, the doctor said, ah, ah. Let me look in your mouth, please say, ah, ah. And if any of you have been to the doctor, sorry about that, you know I always forget the words when I sing. If any of you have been to the doctor, sometimes they do need to check and have a look in your throat. They want to look at your tonsils. And as you can see in the picture there, the little girl's got a stick in her mouth and you may need to do that. So that is the sound that we make. It is one sound, two letters, which means it is a digraph. Well done. Look, we've lost that picture there. Okay, so it is a sausage. So if you want to have a go at writing the sound on your piece of paper, first of all, and add whether it's a sausage or a bean, that's a really great way to start. And we're going to move on to some blending. Okay. Right, let's look at bending page. Okay, so we've got some different ones here to blend. We're going to start over here and we are going to go, first of all, can you see that sausage? Can you see that R? Ah. Okay, now I will let you into a little tip. Although we do that R ah sound, quite often I pretend I'm a pirate for this one, so we go R. Ah. Okay, so if we forget it, we might go, ah, so you might see me doing that one today. So you can pretend to be a pirate or you can pretend to be um, having your mouth, your throat checked by a doctor. But have a look at this word here. So we're going to have a look at this word here. You see it? And can you see that R sound? Can you see that sausage? Can you find it? Have a look. Yes, you are quite right. It goes along like that. So you can have a go at writing these words and adding them in. And then we've got that there. We've got the pictures here to help us if we need them. So let's blend that one. We've got k, ah, k, ah, car. Well done. There's our picture of the car. So we're going to go straight down once again. There's our sausage. There's our bean. Now have a look at this one because we quite often remember what sounds it when it goes past the line. So this one's gone under the line and it's going that way. It's not going that way. So it's not the I, it's the J. Well done. Okay, so let's blend that one together. J, 
ah, j ah, jar. Brilliant. And there we are. We have got a jam jar. Fantastic. Now, they were a bit easy because they're only two sounds. Oh, bear with me. Look what I'm doing there. Scribbling all over your lovely work. Let me just rub that one out. Okay, so can you find the sausage in this one? We're going down to this one. Okay, have a look. If you need to write it at home, you can. Can you have a look? Can you have a look? Yes, you didn't. That didn't take you long. Well done. Always look for that sausage first. It's really, really important. Otherwise, that's where some children get confused and they start thinking they're all beans. So always focus on the sausage first. And then we can put our beans in and then we can have a go at blending. So we've got ah, mm. ah, mm. farm. Brilliant. And there is our picture of our farm. Now we're going to move on to the next. Oh, this one's in red. What do we have to do when it's in red? That's right. Well done. Red in your head. So if this is a bit tricky for you. Don't worry, you can still sound it out. But if you want to start learning to blend in your head, you can put it in your head. In fact, you can do any of them in your head. But I'm going to make sure there's one every day. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to help you with this one because I'm going to put the beans and sausages in first of all. Okay. So we're going to go and remember you're going to think the sounds in your head. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. I've actually made this one really tricky for you because it's got an initial cluster at the front, which lots of you find hard. Star, brilliant. Here is our picture of a star. Now a double challenge here. So we're going to use what we've already learned. I'm going to put the beans and sausages in. This is a far, uh, how many sounds? One, two, three, four sounds in this one. So this is for a real challenge, okay? So don't worry if your child, lots of children can hear three sounds and blend them. When we get to four, they start to forget um, the first sound. So you might find that they say the word, but they actually miss off the first sound. That's quite common, and I'm gonna give you a tip in a minute to help. So first of all, we're gonna blend. So we're gonna go s, t, r, t. Now, can you hear that? You can hear that just having that extra sound makes it a lot harder. S, t, r, t. Some of you may got that. Well done if you have. If you've not, what we can do, is with these initial clusters, we can actually squish them together, even though they're two beans, and we can go st, st. So we can go st, art, start. Well done. And by doing that, it means that we go back to having just the three sounds to remember. I'm making this really tricky for you today, putting a bit of a challenge in, because now, uh, what do we get when we get one like this? It is a monster word. Now, these are really great. You can be playing monster words at home, and if you're on phonics play, there's lots of monster words. Um, one of the reasons is some words they will never be been exposed to, so that they will be unknown words to them. So it's teaching them not to be scared of unknown words, and it's also teaching them to really focus in on the sounds. So with a monster word, it's not real, so they can't change it into a real word. They have to read it as a monster word. So first of all, we're gonna find spot the sausage. There we go. Add those beans in and we're gonna blend that together. L, A, M. L, A, M. Larm. It's not a real word, it's a monster word, but you can still read it because you're brilliant with your phonics. Fantastic. So now we're gonna move on to some writing. Okay, so we've got, now, you can choose any of these. I don't mind which one you want, okay? But I've put a new picture in there if somebody wants a bit of a challenge to do one we've not already done. So you might do this one. Oh, I can see I've made a mistake there already because this one, let me just see if I can change it. Hold on. It doesn't have that. See, I can see I was working late last night and I forgot. And I wasn't focusing on what I was doing. Uh, hold on. Won't let me get rid of it either. Oh, I know, because I've grouped it. Hold on. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line through it because we've made a mistake and that's okay. 
and we're just going to put a line through it because it shouldn't be there. So we're going to say the word and say the sound. Car. K -ar. Car. So once again, what was the first sound you could hear and what was the digraph you could hear? Have a go at writing that one. Pause the video. Okay, for this one here, we're going to say this word again. Farm. R -m. Farm. Well done. Have a go at writing that one out. And don't forget, you can put your sound buttons in first. Now, this one, we've not looked at this one yet, so we're going to have a go at this one. This is a picture of a park. Park. P -ar -k. Park. So once again, have a listen to the sounds and have a go at writing that. And if you want that further challenge of writing a sim sentence, the simple sentence this time is we, capital letter, go to the, and you can choose farm or park. We go to the park. Full stop. So this time it is five words. So it's a bit trickier. So we're going to go we, finger space, go, finger space, to, finger space, the, finger space, park. Full stop. Have a go at that sentence. Well done, everybody. Enjoy.